Hello and welcome back to another photo road trip. This time we are in Denmark, a country full of lighthouses, rolling hills, apparently sort of lovely landscape. So we're going to drive around and check it out over the next few videos. But it's a very windy first evening in Denmark and we're heading up to a quite a famous lighthouse um, called, and do not do not come back to me on my pronunciation on this because my Danish is non-existent, but Junberg uh, Knul. And it's basically right on the coast on a huge sand dune. It's incredible. It looks like something out of the Western Sahara or out of a, a set out of a Star Wars film. And actually, it's on the coast of Denmark. We're just making our way up onto the dune now. Very windy. I'll try and cover the uh, microphone because the sound is going to be terrible here. But the sand in my face and in my mouth and probably all over my camera sensor shortly, it's going to be even worse. But if I turn behind, you might be able to see what I'm looking at. I'm going to go up and try and find some compositions in an hour or so. I'm going to get towards golden hour and hopefully we haven't been drowned in the sand in the meantime. This was the first photo of the day. While we were exploring the area, the wind was so harsh that it was blowing all of the dry sand off the top and leaving the slightly wetter, crazy Martian landscape underneath. It just looked so barren I had to take a quick photo. Just trying to find some uh, little lines in the sand. The wind is really blowing the, uh, the dry sand across it. Uh, hopefully give it a bit of atmosphere. And the sun's going down, there's quite a lot of light at the moment, so we, we'll see how long we can last in this sandstorm. It's literally sand everywhere, all over everything. But it's looking quite nice. Uh, maybe if I flip this around, you might be able, oh no, no, it's got stuck in the wind. <laughs> gimbal has died. Come on, Gimbal. No. Gimbal doesn't like the wind. Okay, let me turn around like that. There you go. Tap to resume. Ah, oh, this thing is dying on me. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll just show you the photo. This was the first photo I really got a nice leading line from the sand here. As you can see, I put some little arrows on. I got a nice minimal central composition, a clear subject. The light was great, even though it wasn't quite golden hour yet. And the wind was creating some great atmosphere. I also did it in black and white because of the high contrast in the sky. I think it works pretty well, but the lighthouse wasn't quite symmetrical and the sky was a bit boring. Let's check this mic is on. Mic check, one, two, one, two, mic check. All right. <laughs> so we, take, we have taken refuge inside the lighthouse because the wind is at about 40 miles an hour at the moment. The ambient temperature is outside is seven degrees. Was it feels like minus one? And uh, yeah, it's, it's insane. Got some really good photos and the golden hour is going to start in about half an hour or so so we're just going to take refuge for a bit but if i flip this round you can see the shadow of the lighthouse and then just how much sand is just getting blown across everywhere so much so that you you take a few footsteps and they're gone within 30 seconds there's so much sand moving about um it's literally in everything I own, in me, not in a good way, in that way you're thinking of. But um, yeah, for the photos, eh? For the photos. Before I show you the next couple of photos which I took, which in my opinion were the best that I took that day, I'm going to show you a little snippet of a video which Mads Peter Everson did recently it's up on his youtube and i'll put a little link in the corner and one in the description to it 
In the video, he critiqued people's photos, one of which was mine, and mine made the thumbnail as well. It was taken from this exact location, 20 mil, low down. You could see how windy it was, but let's just have a look at what he had to say. Ooh, I know this place. Beautiful toning, beautiful lights, beautiful editing, nice leading lines leading you into the scene. A tiny thing I can see over here, there's a little bit of darkness going on and then we get a bright line here along the lighthouse. So you may want to check up on that. I'm a little bit annoyed with myself on this one. I'm a bit of a pixel peeper, but clone stamp tool managed to fix this one. And like the nitpicky thing is that obviously we have this dark part over here. It can also be a little bit distracting. Not sure if you could have could have moved a little bit further to the right. So you have excluded this part over here, the dark part here, and just had like clean, clean foreground. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful shot. I did fix this as well. I used the dodge tool in Photoshop just to bring the shadows up in that darker area to settle the balance. Now that was really awesome feedback, I've got to say. Thanks Mads for that. This was definitely one of those days where I felt that my photography had taken a step forward. And building on that feedback, this shot was a two shot focus stack. The leading lines were there, the minimal central composition, clear subject, great light, the wind, better sky than the previous photo. It just all sort of came together in that moment for me. And in this second photo, it was in the similar location. A little bit later, the sun was lower in the sky. I've got me in there looking at the lighthouse. That high contrast area sort of draws your eye in. As I look towards the lighthouse as well, it makes you look towards it. You've got the leading lines and I think it's just great. And here's a quick look at the lighthouse itself from the bottom, just to give you a sense of the scale of how big this thing is. Now, I've had to slow down this one piece of B-roll. I didn't get much because the gimbal on my little camera kept stopping working. It was way too windy to put the drone up and I found it really difficult to try and do much vlogging in those conditions. So you're just gonna have to take a slow look at this while I talk to you about some of the other photos that I've taken, which I'll show you. Towards the end of the evening, we came back down this way towards the car park, which was about a 10 to 15 minute walk from the lighthouse. The sun was just going down behind the sand dunes and it was just causing some great patterns to occur on the ripples in the sand. And then there was also this little family that turned up with a dog that started walking through the dunes and I managed to capture them in a couple of photos. The sunset, the sun will be behind the lighthouse as you look at it from the land and the sun will be over the sea as this is on the west coast and then in the morning the sun will be behind you or over the land in the east. Here we can see the light just poking through that little gap in the sand dunes where the lighthouse is and the family are there just walking their dog. I managed to capture some of the foreground there with the lines However, I had another look at it and I think this crop is a lot better, the landscape version. You get to see a little bit more of what the family are doing, see how the light falls on the family and I think it's a much better composition, a bit more of a rule of thirds. Before that family turned up into frame, I was taking some photos of that exact setup and this is what it looks like without the family. I think it looks a little bit more bare. I'm trying to get the foreground in, but it, it just didn't quite work. There's too much negative space in the foreground. It's, it's not quite interesting enough and it's not quite balanced either. The family brought a bit of balance with the lighthouse, but in this one, it is just lacking a little bit. This is one of the few landscape orientation photos I took during the day. And again, it's just looking back with the sun behind the lighthouse, but I think this one works a little bit better. All I've got here is the rolling sand dunes 
with a central composition again, which I seem to quite like, of the lighthouse and the glow of the light coming through. I really like this one and it's currently my desktop background. I'm afraid that's it for today's video. However, I did visit a lot more places in Denmark. So if you liked what you saw today, please give it a like, give it a subscribe so you get notifications when my next Photographing Denmark videos are available. As always, thanks for watching and happy snapping.